and this is Vinay from iOS interview today we will discuss most important interview questions about iOS interview questions part 1 so moving further on the video think different this is quote by Steve Jobs the questions we will cover on this video are introduction what is type in France what is generics what are protocols what are tuples? What about mutability in Swift? What are subscripts? What is an optional? Optional in what ways you could unwrap an optional? What kind of memory allocations takes place in Swift? What is the difference between stack and heap memory? And conclusion. So friends, preparing for an iOS interview can be a daunting task, especially when you are aiming for more advanced positions. To help you as your iOS interview, we have compiled a list of challenging questions along with detailed answer and code examples. These questions will test your knowledge of iOS development concepts and best practices. So friends, let's dive in. In this video, we present a comprehensive list of interview questions about iOS. These questions cover fundamental concepts, advanced topics, and practical applications of iOS interview. Whether you are preparing for your next job interview or simply wish to deepen your understanding of iOS, this guide is designed to help you navigate through the landscape of this transformative framework. So friends, moving on the question, what is type inference? In short, it's an ability of Swift. You don't always need to write types of variables and constant you making in your code. For example, Swift notes int type var age equal to 40. And you don't need to tell them always like blow var age int equal to 40. So friends, you don't have to tell the what is the type of variable it notes its int type by default. So it is called type in France. What is generics? Generic code enables you to write flexible reusable functions and types that can work with any type subject to requirements that you define. Understanding it with an example suppose you want to swap two values of type in let's write a non-generic function func swap to ints underscore a in out int underscore b in out int and in let temporary a equal to a equal to b b equal to temporary a var num1 equal to 4 var num2 equal to 5 so friends, we call this function swap to int and percent num a comma and percent num two. Now suppose you want to swap two double values or two string values. You will need to write another function for that because the above function is accepting only the only for int type. What if we have a function which accept any type of values and swap them? This is what generic do. Now let's do the same thing with a generic function. Func swap to values t a in out t b in out t. So friends, let temporary a equal to a equal to b b equal to temporary a. Var num1 equal to 4 var num2 equal to var num1 equal to 3, var num2 equal to 4, swap to values and percent num1 comma and percent num2, var str equal to sdf, var str equal to daf, df, swap to values and percent str1 and n percent str2. So friends, this is generic function. It will work both with num, uh, num number, integer, and strings. So friends, now you can swap any type of values. You don't need to write different, different function to swap different, different type of values. T 
टी इज ए प्लेस होल्डर कार्ड एज टाइप पैरामीटर वी यूज एरे इन स्विफ्ट विच इज ऑल्सो ए जेनरिक टाइप एरे एलिमेंट डिक्शनरी की कॉमा वैल्यू वाट आर प्रोटोकॉल्स इट्स ए ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ मैथड्स प्रॉपर्टीज एंड अदर रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट सूट ए पर्टिकुलर टास्क एंड इट कुड एडोप्टेड बाई ए क्लास स्ट्रक्चर और एनुमरेशन प्रोटोकॉल डज नॉट इंक्लूड एनी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टाइप विच इज एडोप्टिंग द प्रोटोकॉल शुड हैव ऑल द मैथड्स विच आर प्रजेंट इन गिवन प्रोटोकॉल एंड दिस एक्शन इज कार्ड कन्फर्मिंग प्रोटोकॉल इट्स सिंटेक्स लुक लाइक प्रोटोकॉल वेहीकल फंक एक्सलरेट फंक स्टॉप क्लास यूनिसाइकिल विनाइट प्रोटोकॉल वेहीकल वार पैडिंग कल टू फाल्स फंक एक्सिलरेट पैडिंग कल टू टू फंक स्टॉप पैडिंग कल टू फाल्स वाट आर टपल्स समटाइम्स डेटा कम्स इन पेयर्स और ट्रिपलेट्स An example of this is a pair of x y coordinate on a 2D grid. Similarly, a set of coordinates on a 3D grid is comprised of an x value, a y value, and a z value. In Swift, you can represent such related data in a very simple way through the use of a tuple. Let coordinate int comma int equal to 2 comma 3. What about mutability in Swift? Constant let are constant in Swift and variable var varies. So friends, let is used for immutables. They cannot mutate mutable in future, but where is mutable? So this is called mutability in Swift. What are subscripts? With subscripts, you can quickly access the member elements of collection. A subscript consists of the name of the collection, such as scores, two square bracket, and a key or index inside the brackets. By default, you can use subscripts with arrays, dictionaries, collections, lists, and sequences. You can also implement your own with the subscript function. Subscript parameter list and to return type get return some value of return type set new value set some value of return type to new value. Friends, next. Question is what is an optional? This is very most important question asked in IELTS interview. Optionals are Swift solution to the problem of representing both a value and the absence of a value. An optional is allowed to hold either a value or nil. Next question is in what ways you could unwrap an optional? You can unwrap any optional in following ways. Number one by optional winding. Number two by force unwrapping. Number three by guard statement. Number four by nil coalescing. Optional binding a flat. It's the simplest way to do unwrap an optional bar. Other name string equal to m o h d yes is if let author name equal to author name print author name is author name else print no author name by force unwrapping to force unwrap we use exclamatory mark var author name string question mark equal to m o h d yes is print author name author name exclamatory mark Guard statement. Sometimes you want to check a condition and only continue executing a function if the condition is true, such as when you use optionals. Imagine a function that fetches some data from the network. That fetch might fail if the network is down. The usual way to encapsulate this behavior is using an optional, which has a value if the fetch succeeds. And nil otherwise. 
Swift has a useful and powerful feature to help in situations like this. The guard statement func testing guard underscore name string guard let unwrapped name equal to name as print you don't enter any name return print hello unwrapped name nin col collecting let name equal to string equal to nil let unwrapped name equal to name five double question mark unknown what kind of memory allocations takes place in swift in short stack and heap when you create a reference type such as a class the system stores the actual instance in a region of memory known as the heap instances of a value type such as a struct resides in a region of memory called the stack what is the difference between stack and heap memory the system uses the stack to store anything on the immediate field of execution it is tightly managed and optimized by the cpu when a function <coughs> creates a variable the stack stores that variable and then it destroys it when the function exits since the stack is so strictly organized it's very efficient and thus quite fast the system uses the heap to store instances of reference types the heap is generally a large pool of memory from which the system can request and dynamically allocate blocks of memory lifetime is flexible and dynamic the heap doesn't automatically destroy its data like the stack does Additional work is required to do that. This makes creating and removing data on the heap a slower process compared to on the stack. So, friends, moving on conclusion. In this video, we try to cover some top interview questions related iOS. We will discuss other questions in upcoming video. This will definitely help you to prepare for your next interview thank you for watching this video also comment below if you learn something new here so friends thank you for watching please like share and subscribe for getting such type informative videos related ios interview thank you